Today, real simple, we're gonna put these on the furnace um, exhaust. Um, and uh, they're pretty simple mod. They're, they're a nice thing to do. I, I've actually had um, three different, this is actually our third, fifth wheel that we've had. I've never had these on them, um, but I thought to myself, um, you know, it'd be a good thing to do. It'd be a good mod to do. So uh, we're gonna put these on the, uh, uh, the, the furnace to be able to uh, protect it against any um, any bees or any wasps or anybody that wants to build a nest in, in our furnace area over the summer, just to kind of protect it some. So uh, here we go. Well, one of the first things we had to do is get these, um, uh, they were all caught up in this green here. So we got four of them that came with, I don't see if I, I don't think I'd need four. I just really, I imagine I need two. Uh, came with two of these uh, silicone strips. They just kind of put around the edge here just to kind of protect so it doesn't scratch the side of the RV. Uh, you can trim a little bit off here it looks like, but I'm just gonna leave it on there. But let's get the other one on and then we'll get them installed. All right, so I got the spring on here already and I'm just gonna put the silicone strip on here. It just goes around like that, real simple. It is a little long, like I said, um, you could keep it like that or you can trim it up but uh, I like to keep it a little longer now this can get a little funny holding it like this but uh, you want you want the spring to stick out like that and then run the little rod through here to catch on on your spring and you want to catch it in a corner over here like this that way your your other part is open and I see my silicone's coming off but I'll I'll get it put it back on Okay, and just gotta put it on here and push it over the the thing like that, and it's on there. And I just want to get the silicone on there good like that, so that will protect it from scratching up down the, on the uh, on this on this part right here. But we'll get the other one on real quick. Okay, here's the second one. Um, once again, the silicone thing likes to come off. And I would, once again, I'd buy the one with that, with the silicone because um, it's just a little added benefit. It could be hard to see in here, but I'm gonna squeeze it in there. Yep, I got it on there good. Um, I'm gonna turn it around so that the bottom of this is actually, at the, the, the opening is at the bottom. In case any water got in there, it'd, it'd drip out. But you can get these uh, without that silicone uh, on there, but uh, so when you look for them on Amazon, we'll actually put a link in the description so you can get the right ones. But you, but they sell these without the silicone. But then after you get it, you're gonna wish you had it. So um, they were a little little tougher to find than just the that this one was a little tougher to find. So um, I'll put a link in the description. But there it is. That's that's all done. Um, now we're gonna be doing this one here. Uh, this is the suburban 12 gallon uh, water heater, and uh, so the ones you see on on Amazon they're smaller they only go about this this far and uh, you want the one to be able to cover the whole thing up so you be a good idea to go out and measure before you go ahead and buy it but I'll, for this one as well if you got a newer RV I'll put the link in the description for this so thank you so much for watching uh, once again just a quick mod but these little things like this just make a big difference when you're um, when you're out and about camping you, you know that is all cared for so thank you very much again and uh, please subscribe to our channel click that little bell uh, notification button and uh, you'll get a notification for our next video. Thanks a lot, God bless, bye-bye.